Well, as Lauren explained, water woes continue to plague parts of the Sun Coast, especially as the rain is not letting up, and that's causing ponding and flooding. Emergency management officials say they're keeping a close eye on the situation to keep residents safe. SNN Local News reporter Rob Wells has the story. Waterlogged drivers make their way through what Mother Nature left behind. More rains Tuesday meant more frustration for those battling the elements in Sarasota. Many just trying to make the most of a soggy scenario. I, uh, we're still having fun. We're doing the aquarium, we're getting board games, we're still having fun and making the best of it. And we still think that um, the sun will come out. Crews spent the day blocking off some intersections while they worked to try and clear storm debris. Near Siesta Key, some side streets and near washout as roads turn to makeshift ponds. The emergency teams say not only do they depend on technology, but also all their human resources. They say it's all eyes on the sky and heavy rains like this when everything can change in a second. We also uh, look for our weather spotter reports. We uh, look to the National Weather Service office in Ruskin to uh, be able to help us. Emergency officials offer a few simple reminders if you find yourself in or around high water. Turn around, don't drown. Number one, don't go through standing water. If uh, you're unfamiliar with the area, especially when you're going through standing water on a street, you may get your car buried and washed away. Experts add that your vehicle can get swept away in less than one foot of moving water and six inches can knock you off of your feet. Most deaths in disasters or anything else, almost 60% are water-based and they happen at night when people don't see. Small tips that can hopefully help all of us survive this soggy September. Rob Wells, SNN Local News. Also in Sarasota County, crews continue to monitor the wastewater system for any types of problems. In Northport, crews say they began draining various canals last weekend in anticipation of the runoff left behind by this week's rains.